So to start off, have you always lived in Augusta, Georgia, or Hepsworth, Georgia? Um, uh, no. Okay. How did you end up here? Uh, when I purchased, I moved there. You know, just okay. purchased a home there. Mm, it originally it was Augusta. Okay. Mm. Um. So for me, I've always lived in Hopesville, born and raised there. Mm -hmm. um, so we live in like a two-story, five-bedroom, uh, single-family type of home. Mm -hmm. Could you tell me a little bit about what kind of home you live in? Single-story, three-bedroom home. Mm -hmm. um, so have you ever invested in solar, either rooftop solar for your home, your property, or as part of a business, or as part of a program through your unit? The, the only thing I've done solar is a couple, of, for customers, a couple of solar light, light fixtures. Okay. Yeah, I haven't done solar panels or anything. So you said for customers, what kind of business and do For you electrical. Know? Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so... Were you the one that installed that for them? Right. All that? Right. Um, have you ever considered it for your home personally? I, I actually want to try it for uh, uh, solar power for a water fountain. Okay. I want to do a, 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 a bird bath mm -hmm. and I want to put water on it. And I was going to, that's, that's like a project coming up now. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think I want to do it in solar power just so it, you know, always have power out there. So, when you were deciding about the house you were in, was that an option for you to put solar on the rooftop, or did you just not consider it, or did you buy a house that was, like, already didn't have it? It didn't have it, uh, and it really, I didn't even consider it, to be mm -hmm. honest, I didn't, you know, but after, you, you see a lot of solar farms, mm -hmm. and, and you see a lot of, I, there are some houses on Gordon Highway, they have townhouses, they have the solar panels on them so now you're being more aware of it now so i'd like to talk a little bit about solar adoption in general mm -hmm. i'm going to give you this map of the united states and if you will just mark where you think in the country solar is mostly adopted I see out here. you can circle mm -hmm. it or put an x or i don't see how how where it's here if I just had to guess, okay. I would say yeah. So what makes out west different just from us? Sunshine, yeah. Okay. You know, just I, I, I just believe it is. I see it more here, more mm -hmm. than I've ever seen before. But uh, that would just be my guess. Okay. I, I don't I don't know for sure, but that that would, that would be my guess. Um. So what do you think? What type of people do you think would live in this area? What type? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not I'm not sure. I'm not sure. You say what type? Uh. I, I'm thinking more of the climate, more yeah. so than the. So I, I mean, I imagine you have the same type of people mm -hmm. you have in in, gotcha. in, in in yeah. Um. So do you think climate has more effect in this area versus? I would think that? so. I would think so. Just my thoughts. I could be totally wrong. And there's no right or wrong answers. Yeah. This is just to see your yeah. views. Mm -hmm. Um. So we're gonna do the same thing again, but with a map of Georgia. Just. Same thing, put an X in what counties or circle mm -hmm. where you think. And I would probably would say more around the Atlanta area, around him here. Just more people, more, more, more of an option. But I guess the farm, I guess the farms of the farm areas down in low country and everything, I guess they might use it too. But I would, I would think more in it. In the city, you know, around surrounding areas and around Atlanta. So, do you think being the Atlanta area, would it be more of a business adopting it or homeowners adopting it? I think uh, probably more business and, and 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 the farms. And I think once people, the more they know about it, I think uh, if they will start adopting it to the to their homes. And because, like I said, I don't know for sure, but. Mm -hmm. From what I hear, you can actually sell power back to the power company. So I mean, I think everybody would be jumping on board if that, if you know, if they could see how they could invest in. Make money. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Okay, mm -hmm. I'll take that. Um. So, what about your close friends in Georgia? Do they have solar? No. Why do you None. think they don't? Just, just because it just is is. I don't know. If, for for us, it's fairly new mm -hmm. to me. I ain't gonna say uh, something. For me, it's fairly new and it's not really pushed and 
you know, it's like not a common thing, you know, you know, like uh, like sprinkler system in the yard, yeah. you know, that's that's you it's you got common. gotta have. But but hey, what about solar power? I don't think it's really put out there that mm-hmm. much t- to make people say, okay, well I try, it. you know, you know. So I think just being aware of it and having knowledge about it. Okay, so now if you don't mind, we're going to swap it up a little bit and talk a few questions about the role of food in your day-to-day life. Mm-hmm. Um, so if you could, tell me what your regular day with food looks like. So what does your meals and snacks typically look like? Uh, a bunch of chicken. Because <laughs> I uh, pork, I can't really eat a lot of that because of my high blood pressure and, you know, uh, hereditary mm-hmm. uh, uh, you know, diabetes and, and all that So. Uh, mostly chicken, vegetables. Of course, I love, which I, that's probably a bad thing. I love potatoes. Mm-hmm. So anything, potatoes and rice, I love that. But I love vegetables, uh, any kind of peas. Uh, but uh, the meat is mostly chicken. Uh, I really skip breakfast a lot. Sometimes I might, if we have chicken left over, I might grab a piece of chicken on the way out the door or something. Or come back home and eat leftovers. But it's not a... Just a, a, I, I, that's supposed to be the uh, most important breakfast of the day, but I skip it a lot of times and just have to start at lunch. I do the same. <laughs> Normally don't even think about eating uh-huh. breakfast. Yeah, I got to get out the door. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, so for me, my favorite go-to snacks would be like some type of fruit. I don't know. I love fruit for some uh-huh. reason. Not really like a health guru person, uh-huh. but I just love just, fruit. Just love fruit. Mm-hmm. So, could you tell me what your go-to meal is and why? Um, as for snacks or the meal? Snack or meal, oh, whichever yeah. one you want to do. Uh, sp- sp- pistachios uh, are, are a good snack food. I, I love bananas. Um, got two, two hip on the apples. and You know, uh, but... But I, I love salads mm-hmm. with, with, you know, with with the oranges and the pecans and chicken. Mm-hmm. I, lo- I love, so salads would be one go-to food. I love salads, of course. Salads and chicken, any chicken any kind of way, you know. Mm-hmm. Try to stay away from it being fried, you know. Just for the health benefit, because you know it's not good. It's good to you, but not good for you. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, so how often do you cook your own meals? My wife cooks now. Yeah, okay. she loves to cook, and she's good at it, so... I don't really have to cook, yeah. Gotcha. Uh, um, so are you the only person in your house that makes the decisions about the food purchases for the house? No, no. More so her. <laughs> but she'll just, she knows what I like, so she'll get what I like. But Miss more so her with the grocery shopping. Mm-hmm. Or her sending me to get grocery. <laughs> mm-hmm. So how often do you all purchase food for your household? We kind of stock up. So probably, I think that was one of the questions. I think it's about... If I had to guess, it'd probably be once a month because we kind of stock up when we go. Mm-hmm. Um, so paint this picture for me. Let's say y'all are taking a trip to purchase food. What does that look like? Uh, she she kind of she makes a list before we go, and then of course there's gonna be some uh, spontaneous stuff when you, mm-hmm. especially when you walk by. Oh, yeah. you know, so uh, some stuff gets added, but for the most part, we kind of start out with a list of what we want. Um, so when it comes to feeding your family, what challenges might you face? For example, for our family, we have a bunch of picky eaters, so it's always, what is everybody going to yeah. eat? Well, <clears throat> for me, um, in our house, well, like I say, the, the advantage is she knows, hey, he don't eat fish. Mm-hmm. I don't eat fish. I love shrimp and lobster tails. That's kind of crazy, but yeah. I don't eat fish. So she, we kind of don't have that. We just have to figure out what we're going to have. Besides chicken, you know, so so we'll do steak, we'll do uh, shrimp, we'll do uh, oxtails. And, uh, you don't know you don't know about neck bones, do you? <laughs> so it's just different stuff, you know, and having it different ways. But you, for for us, the biggest challenge is what are we gonna have besides chicken, so that we can have something different, you know? Because I, I can eat chicken every day, but you know, you do want something different. 